right, we're talking about reduced order observers now. So what if we only need or only want to estimate some of the states? Well, we can always construct a full order observer and then just extract the desired information, but is that really necessary? So a reduced order observer, in this case, we consider a full row rank matrix, T. So a full row rank means that T times its transpose has non-zero determinant. And then we let Z equal T times X. That is, we want, this is, this is our subset of the states that we want to measure. And we use T here to kind of uh, pick off those states. So ba basically, this is a linear combination of states we want to get good estimates of. So our reduced order observer is going to be now of this form. So instead of measuring or observing x, we're going to be observing z. So z dot then is going to be given by this form. f z dot is equal to f times z plus l times y plus this times u. And, and we'll see why we need this tb. And it's, it's for the same reason in the full order observer we had we just had b times u, in which case t was just the identity. And uh, so notice here, instead of having a minus lc, um, because of the fact that, that um, this has fewer states than our original system, uh, we can't actually do a minus lc because it's, that's the wrong dimension. So we just form a matrix F here. So again, this uses u and y in forming its estimate. So we have everything that we need. Now we just need to come up with F, L, and T. We need, we need to, those three matrices. So we also need to determine the conditions under which Z converges to T times X of T. Remember, this is an estimate. It's not actually T times X of Z. It's what we want to be equal to T times X of Z. So again, we consider the error so Tx of x minus z. We differentiate to get the error dynamics. So Tx dot minus z dot. We can go through and show that we come up with all this stuff. Notice that we have f times the error. And then we have this other thing. It's a function of the state. So instead of just having e dot is equal to something times e, we have all of this other stuff too. So this will be this will have stable error dynamics if and only if first of all f is Hurwitz, second of all th we have this uh, linear matrix equality satisfied. So this is a linear matrix in terms of t, f, and l. It's linear in all of those guys. And so how do we compute these matrices? How do we? It may be difficult in general to find um, l, f, and l if t is fixed. If f is fixed, however, it is it's sim more it's simpler to find t and l. So, but it's important to ask the question: How do we actually compute these guys? So, I'm going to introduce something called a Kronecker product. And so, here are some of the properties of the Kronecker product. So, the Kronecker product is another kind of matrix multiplication. And the Kronecker product, unlike the regular regular matrix multiplication. Regular matrix multiplication is actually called Schur multiplication. Um, in Schur multiplication, remember you have rows times columns, which means you have to have the number of elements match up properly. In Kronecker product, they, they don't have to match up. Okay, So basically what happens is I take each element of this first matrix and multiply by the second matrix. And, and so I get this block matrix formed this way. Okay, so this is this is how it's formed, and we have these various properties for the Kronecker product. The one the one I want to look at especially is this one down here, the vec of a product ABC. Okay, so by vec I mean you have a matrix, and vec is taking this matrix, taking the columns and stacking the columns into a single vector. Okay, so taking all the columns and just stacking them on top of each other. So that's the vec command okay and so you can go through and show that the vec of the product abc is equal to this this chronicer product times the vec of the thing in the middle okay and so um, 
if if a is a matrix and the columns are a1 through an then vec of a is just stacking those columns this way so that's the chronic product and so this is we can we can go through and show that because of linearity and other things that um, this equation then can be written in terms of chronic products this way okay so, so I'm basically taking the vec of all of these terms in this case these two terms basically give us these two terms this term is going to give us this and so we have this thing times the vec of t vec of l is equal to zero this is a null space calculation so we form this matrix we compute the null space of it and the null space vectors can be used to obtain t and l okay and so in in the reduced order observer calculation i actually have a a function that i've developed for this, this purpose for MATLAB's, for computing in MATLAB. So this is the reduced order observer. And so if we use the reduced order observer, we can pick F, and so we can obviously pick it to be a stable thing, and then we need to compute the T and the L from that. So this is the reduced order observer. Stay tuned, and we're going to talk about now how to use observers for feedback.